Hello internet people. Hope you all are doing really well today. You can tell. It's a nice wet morning. And you know what that means? It means that winter is freaking descending on the Western Cape. I don't like winter much. But it is part of life, it's natural, it's what we go through every year, just making the most of it man. It's the first time we've had wet roads since, oh I don't know, November of last year? So yeah, I'm uh, quite happy to be riding on wet roads again the only thing is people probably aren't used to the wet roads so we can expect some terrible driving but what's new we're motorcyclists we know how to adapt to the traffic Just doing a couple of emergency stops here because I know the roads are wet and slippy and I need to know where the difference in traction is. I did just lock up my front wheel. <laughs> this is why I practice it. So that I don't do it in an emergency. Let's go. Ah. Oh. What's behind me? Missed first gear there. Okay. So, I wanted to tell you guys a bit of a story. Obviously, there's a big elephant in the room. The world is going through some crazy, crazy times at the moment. And uh, man, I just I wish we could have world peace. That's quite sad. I don't want to get overly involved in political stuff because at the end of the day that's all it is but my thoughts are with every single person out there just to everybody out there man that's going through all sorts of crazy walks in their life my thoughts go out to you guys to, to all of you actually because you know we all have our rough journeys that we have to take in life and everybody's life journey is somewhat unique and so I just I wish you guys all the best of strength and if anybody that's out there going through these difficult times see this man just remember please don't look down look ahead good things will come out of it you just try to keep hoping for the best and keep looking forward man it's the best you can do So I know I've, uh, I missed my upload last week and I'm uh, really upset about it, I, uh, I didn't want to miss it, unfortunately I just had my hands quite full and I didn't actually have time to put a video together, I could have uploaded some raw footage, but that would have been pretty boring! And let's be honest, motovlogs themselves are not the most exciting type of content, so especially when it's a motovlog of the daily commute. So I have to put quite a bit of time into editing a moto vlog to try and cut out all the, the blank space and the times that I have to like reset and think because I'm too busy focused on the conditions of traffic than whatever the hell I was saying. So yeah, I, I do seriously apologize for missing last week's video. This video will be out this week, I'm making sure of it. I'm gonna pull another all-nighter if I have to. But I did want to be out here and say thank you guys for just holding out and missing my video last week. I do appreciate you coming back this week to watch it. So, some of you are probably wondering why I'm insane enough to ride a motorcycle on wet roads in this little bit of a drizzle that we have 
Look, thank goodness it's not like gushing with rain, but the roads are pretty wet and that's immediately in itself has changed the way you ride like tenfold. Man, tenfold. You have to be a hundred times more alert. You really have to be gentle on the acceleration and brakes. You gotta give yourself a much bigger space cushion so that you can adapt to anything that might jump in front of you. And yeah, you, you just you just got it. It's like riding every other day. You just anticipate more shit to go wrong. <laughs> and anticipate people will be stupid drivers in wet roads. Because they always are. Oh, man. You know, it's, it feels good to be out on the bike. You know, I'm, I'm very grateful that I'm fortunate enough to have a motorcycle for my daily commute. Because, man. I can't imagine myself being stained with, with driving a car, hey? <laughs> oh, I feel, I feel sorry for everybody in a car. I mean, I'm sure there's a couple of people in the car that's just out there enjoying themselves, but the, the feel that I get is most people out on the car, they're not happy. No, they're stuck. They're just trapped in a cage. <laughs> oh, man. I lost my train of thought. This weekend, I actually ran a couple of errands and I had to go and buy some bulk supplies of toilet paper because we finally ran out of toilet paper at home. So, off I went to the mall and I get this question a lot. People are like, how do you live with just a motorcycle? You know, so, some households they, they don't have a car, they, they just don't. They do everything that they need to do just with a motorcycle. And I have a simple answer for you. Motorcycles are as utilitarian as you make them out to be. I did grocery runs for like 10 months on just a motorcycle, so like month supplies of bulk groceries I would have to go and get on the bike and let me tell you it's doable it takes you a little bit longer because you've got to pack everything onto the bike and strap it down but it's possible this is what I did with my motorcycle when I went to buy two packs of bulk toilet paper literally just strap them all together and strap that onto the motorbike Yes, you can live with just a motorcycle and you can turn a motorcycle into a utility vehicle. Just depends on how much patience you have and how good a Jenga you are. Just look at it. Look at all this traffic. Yeah. Not to worry. You just do this. Totally illegal. You don't have right of way to do that, but anyway. Yeah, you can I, I inconvenienced you, you can go. And yeah, man I just I'm so happy to be riding. <laughs> uh, I'm not very happy that the winter is approaching. Six o'clock this morning and it was still pitch black outside. Pitch black couldn't see. I ended up leaving the house a little bit later than I'd intended to, but that's okay because now there's good light and I can motor vlog. Otherwise you would have just been seeing this bright yellow blob on the screen in front of you. So yeah, there's that. But, hey, looks like it might clear up a bit later today. But then again, this is Cape Town and the wind direction on the ground is very different from the wind direction in the air. So clouds move very counterintuitively out here, man. <laughs> it's 
crazy. Sometimes they'll be like clouds plus wind, everything blows in the right way, uh, the clouds just never come over you. It's the craziest thing ever. Mountains really play mind games with you, man. They really do. Ah. So yeah, I just wanted to catch up with you guys and tell you what's going on. Things are insanely busy at the moment for me, which is obviously why I'm bringing you guys subpar quality motor vlog but I'm, I'm doing my best to be out here and still engage with you all so yeah if you guys wouldn't mind if you've managed to watch this far into the video hey do me a favor hit that subscribe button yeah I'm trying to get to 250 subscribers by the end of March I know we've got a month and I got a lot to go to get to 250 so I'd really appreciate it and just give this video a thumbs up man, it, it'll help YouTube spread my video to more people and at the end of the day that's really what I want to do is I want to get my channel out there, I want to be in everybody's life, uh, I just I want to hang out with you all man, it's, it's pretty cool, I love getting on the bike, I want to share my rides with you all and so yeah by all means please give this video a thumbs up so that it can be shared with more people now finally did my brake pad replacement last week or well, the week before the week before which is another video which I need to make I filmed it I did a lot of spanning a lot of stuff that uh, didn't work out as well as I was hoping it would. It took me like two hours to change my friggin' brake lever, my brake pedal. Yeah. Simply because stuff was dirty and gunked up and difficult to work with. So, not cool, not great, but hey, two hours worth of uh, spannering footage is probably like. 15 minutes worth of edited video and probably about 16 hours worth of editing at least with my current editing workflow anyway so yeah it's uh, it's all good I'm excited to, to put that video out there but yeah you can see from the snippets that I've included here in my b-roll that um, yeah, I wasn't uh, the most pleasant person on camera. Unfortunately, I, I, I'm still in that stage where I have an expectation of things to happen really fast. And I feel very amateurish when it takes me longer than I expected it to. Which kind of puts me in a dull mood because here I am trying to share my experiences with you. and feel like, this is what we're going to do today. It's going to go off without any hitches and hitches happen and I'm just you know with the whole thing that I said in the previous video about the fear of rejection and the fear of judgment it, it really plays with my mood and I get really frustrated and messed out very easily when stuff doesn't go according to plan well that's sad because in reality everything about motorcycling never goes to plan you will always have a breakdown when you go for a ride somewhere or an overnight stop that you weren't planning on. Oh, thank you so much, human being. Moved out of my way for me. Tiny little movement, but it makes all the difference in the world. You know? It really goes a long way when a car driver moves out of the way for a motorcycle. So, if you are a cager, with very little interest in motorcycles and you're watching this video thank you please move over for motorcyclists we're not trying to be assholes but we can lane split and it's epic if you'll move out of our way for us it makes us safer we really appreciate it we really do thank you very much I wonder if I could edit this into an action scene. 
Watching my, my lines. Oh, look at all that traffic there. Look at what I'm not sitting through. <laughs> oh man, don't do it! Hey, Dan, down the fire, man! Thanks for teaching me to be a smart rider. Notice that escape path that I took? I literally all I needed. Guideline between the two lanes. That was all I needed. I should have seen it coming, man. Sh I, I should have seen it coming. I should have better prepared for it. I normally move into the right lane when I approach that intersection so that that doesn't happen. Ah, I should have been better prepared. Ah. Anyway! Not an issue, we move on with our lives. What was I saying before I interrupted myself? Keep the driving like the backside. Oh yeah. Oh, it's a good, good go out there. That seems to be drying up quite nicely. Probably can hear me better now. I really got to do something about my microphone setup, but my clip for my cardo finally decided to give up on me, and I can no longer use my pre-comp. The speakers packed up about six months ago. The uh, you know they they sat where they would continuously get bumped by my head moving in and out, in and out of the helmet. I wear my helmet every single day. So my car hasn't had speakers for like six months, so I've just been using it purely for uh, recording my moto vlogs. And about two, three weeks ago, my car packed up. So, well, the clip on the cradle broke. And I mean, it's, it's not that expensive to get replacement parts for car But I mean, the speakers alone are going to cost me like 680 bucks. Uh, and then the cradle is now going to cost me some extra, and I mean, it's just it's it's cash that I don't have to spend. So that's a great segue into saying, if you guys want to help support this channel, want to help me get my cardo repaired up, then please check out my Patreon page. Uh, the links are down in the description. And uh, you know, if you want to help support this channel, help me grow. I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, as I've said before, I am looking at ways to bring exclusive content to Patreon, uh, to my patrons, but time is killing me right now. Uh, so it's that. However, I do have a free to download PDF, fucking lot of exercise instruction manual thing you can download for free on Patreon, so it will be worth checking that out anyway. Uh, link for that is also in the description, and I got some affiliate links on Amazon. So, if you want to have a look at the boots or the camera that I use, or even like this review that I did on the Zion Smooth 4, if you think that those are quite useful, there are affiliate links in the description for all of those, and they don't cost you anything extra, but a small portion of the sale will come to me and help support this channel, help it grow. So, if y'all want to do that, you, you also can do that, and then you're not just giving me money for nothing. <laughs> um, yeah, I really appreciate it, you guys being out here and supporting this channel, taking the time to watch my videos, watching me almost kill myself. I really do appreciate you all. You guys are all awesome. Thank you very much for watching this video. Whatever life is throwing at you, please just remember, don't look down, look ahead. And until next time, y'all, ride safe. Whee! <laughs>